Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Monday evening. It's about 10 after six and just got home from work and I'm changed, I've changed clothes and I'm in this super soft uh, like zip up, it's North Face. I got this as a Christmas gift for my mom. Oh, it feels so good. I just, I love it. Um, I got a size up so that I could wear it and be all snuggly and cozy and I just love it. It feels so good. It's getting really cold here. Uh, it's gonna be really cold here this week, which is crazy because yesterday it was like 70 degrees. Weird Virginia weather. But anyway, um, I'm getting ready to cook tonight. I'm gonna make a turkey and black bean chili. Uh, it is from Campbell's Kitchen, as in like the soup people Campbell's. And um, I don't really like the corn in it. Like, okay, so something about me is I like corn on the cob and I eat corn like by itself, but when corn's mixed in things, I don't like it. Like corn and salsa, Ugh, no. Corn and soup. Uh, tonight's the first time I'm going to put a little corn in it. But I'm going to try to make a double batch so we can eat off of it this week because it's really healthy. Um, I love black beans and it's turkey meat, so that's awesome. So I might flip it around in a minute and just show you a few ingredients and maybe show the recipe and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Um, but I just love soup. I can eat soup any day. Honestly, any day of the year. It doesn't even, doesn't even matter like if it's cold or hot outside. I'm that weirdo that orders soup on a sunny, hot, like 90 degree day. Mm -hmm. I have issues. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get to cooking and I will show you, I will check back with you in just a little bit. Okay, so what I have going on here is I have some uh, turkey, ground turkey meat. I got the extra lean. It says um, no antibiotics, no hormones, and it's 99% fat free. So I have two pounds of that. Um, and I have two onions that I've cut up. I mean, I didn't cut them up. I used that little chopper thing, which is my favorite. And then in this thing, I have some garlic powder, some leaf oregano, some ground cumin, and some chili powder. And I'm doubling the recipe. Here's the recipe. Um, not want to focus on that. Um, but anyway, sorry about that. That recipe, you just... It looks like she doesn't want to focus on me. I will put the recipe um, down below or maybe in a blog post um, if you guys are interested. Here I have a little bit of oil and I'm gonna heat this up in a minute. I'm gonna add the turkey meat. I'm gonna add the chopped onions. I'm gonna add all the spices. And then I believe once that's browned, um, I'm going to then, I'm gonna transfer it into a larger stock pot, and then I'm gonna add this whole jar of paste chunky salsa, and I like the medium, so I like it a little bit spicy. I believe I'm gonna add all this chicken broth. I'm gonna add my black beans, which I have three cans, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do three whole cans or not, um, and then this little baby corn, which is just for Wes, because I still uh, don't know how I feel about it. But uh, anyway, when it's all done, and it only takes probably, this will probably only take like, 40 minutes, 45 minutes at the most, at the most, and that's probably me going slow. I do like to sprinkle these little things on top, and that's how I eat it. I don't add sour cream or cheese. Um, Wes likes to add cheese to his, but it's really good, it's really easy, and once I get it done, it'll keep for the week, and we'll have it to eat off of. So I'll show you, um, I'll touch base in a little bit and show you what it looks like once I've gotten it together. Step one is the meat, the oil, the meat, the onions, the seasonings. Um, I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna have to get a piece of cheese to hold me over or something. Hi, baby. I have my helper. He's waiting for me to drop something. Which, did you just eat an onion? Was it good? Yeah? You go have onion breath. Ew. Ew. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. I love you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna go... Wash my hands and get ready for the next uh, section. Normally, I make one batch and I would go ahead and make it in. Hold on. Let me see. Where is my pot? Normally, I would make it in one of these pots. I think I'm going to need both hands. Um, I guess if you had one of those Dutch ovens or whatever, you could do it all in that. But normally, I do it all in this. This pot right here which is a tea fowl, one I got from Kohl's. I really like it. And um, I would do one batch and just do this section, I mean this portion in there. But since I'm doing two, um, I thought that'd be too much in there. I needed a bigger bigger area to work with. So I'm gonna get this cooking, get it browned. Yeah, I'm not used to doing this with one hand. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Uh, oh yeah, get her brown and then get her in that pot. And, um, gosh, I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to eat. 
I've just been watching some Lisa Lisa D1 um, while I'm cooking and I'm so far behind. This video was done on December 19th and I've not watched it. He's still there. Um, this just finished browned, browning. <laughs> I cannot speak English. And I'm about to transfer it and get the soup going. It smells really good. Um, it tastes pretty good. And yeah, it tastes pretty good. And I, I can't wait. Um, okay, so wish me luck and I hope I don't spill it all over the place. Okay, I've added the um, chicken broth. I've added a little bit of sugar that it calls for. And now I'm going to add... Isn't that an attractive sound? Um, <laughs> I'm going to add the salsa. And then what else? Oh, and then the corn and the black beans. Oh my goodness. Oh, here you go. Isn't that just so appetizing? Um, I'm going to go get the rest out of here, but I promise you it tastes good. Okay, we're almost done. I put the corn in and I rinsed and drained the corn and it says to do the same things with the black beans, but I did not do that. I just dumped those babies in there. Um, but I only used two cans of black beans. So now I'm going to cover this and let this simmer for about 20 or so minutes and uh, get ready to eat. Look how messy I got. Look at all of that. Um, yeah, I'm a very, very messy cook. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. Okay, it's finally done. You can see that I put a little bit of cheese in Wes's, which we just use um, a generic, a Kroger brand hot pepper cheese. That's one of our favorites for soups. And I skip the cheese and just have these little tortilla strips. So we're getting ready to go eat and um, probably, oh, he's changing the channel. We were going to watch Veronica Mars. <laughs> I'm at Target. All the mugs have been picked over and this one was turned around backwards. And I gotta get it. I like that. It's silly. Mug life. I'm gonna get that one to make um, tea in. Yay, I'm so excited that they have one left. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> Total stranger danger. So we just got back from Target and I think I'm going to take a bath because it is 17 degrees outside. Holy crap. Uh, that's, it's not normal for Virginia weather. Um, <clears throat> and it's funny because, okay, so today is Wednesday. Sorry, I just ran up my stairs. Um, today is Wednesday the 7th. And on this past Sunday, it was almost 70 degrees here. So in one week, it went from 70 to like 17. How nutty is that? I feel like everybody and their brother is going to get sick. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I don't get sick. Um, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I don't get sick again. Uh, so anyway, I just thought uh, I would check in again since I got home. I'm getting ready to uh, get undressed and take a bath. Um, but hopefully we'll see you guys a little later on in the week. It's Thursday and I look like I'm about to rob a bank, don't I? Um, it's another Zara scarf. And I definitely dressed for like warmth today. See, I've got my gray Uggs on, um, an older loft sweatshirt and a huge loft sweater. It is, I think it's 10 outside. Uh, yeah, cold. And I probably look ridiculously tired today because, well, I went to bed late, of course. But um, in the middle of the night, our bed started shaking, like crazy shaking. Uh, it woke Wes up. It woke me up and it was Barkley and he was just laying there shivering. Um, and he doesn't normally do that too often. Uh, I mean, I've seen him do that when he's been really scared. So we were like, what in the world is going on? So I was like, I don't know, maybe take him outside. Oh my God, I'm so glad we got him outside because he was sick, poor thing. I'm looking at you, Bubba. <laughs> he was so sick. Um, like poopy sick and I'm Wes was like oh my gosh I'm so glad we got him out and I don't know why I, I guess he was having stomach pains or something that was causing that but he uh he never got up he never told us he had to go potty he just didn't feel good oh and I hate to leave him today because you don't know if he's gonna get sick again and you don't want to be there to make sure he's gonna be okay and you also don't want him going you know getting sick inside the house so I'm probably going to come home at lunchtime to check on my baby. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, hope everybody has, well, by the time you see this, it won't be Thursday anymore, but anyway, I'm about to get out of here. I need to grab my decaf unsweetened tea that I made last night to take with me and I think um, an oatmeal. I was going to do a smoothie, but I think I'm going to do an oatmeal. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Sparkles. Are you feeling better? Oh, don't be so shy. Are you feeling better? Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Are you feeling better, baby? I hope so. Joy, I hope you feel better. Yeah. You said your baby. You said your mama's baby. Hope you feel better. Hey, Jade. Hey, girl. What you gonna do today? Hey. hey. What you gonna do today? Huh? Nothing much? Just hang out? I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'd rather stay with you today, but I love you. You want to go get your pills? You do? Okay. All right, let's go get our pills. Do you see this ridiculousness? <laughs> uh, it's like it's cold outside. But I was, I got in my car, um, and I was like, you know, I just said, oh, it's 10 degrees. It's so cold. And let me grab my iced tea. Can we talk about that for a minute? Because, well, it's like I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> um, because even in these types of temperatures, I still don't drink hot drinks. <sighs> I wish I drank hot tea at least. Um, but the thought of like a hot drink just makes me feel nauseous. I don't know. I always need cold, cold, cold. So um, maybe that's why I'm cold all the time because I'm forever drinking um forever drinking like cold things and I washed out <laughs> washed out one of my Starbucks cups so this is my decaf um, black tea with stevia just a tiny bit of stevia in it um, yeah I really like it so anyway uh, off to work I go so it's lunchtime and I had to come home for two reasons one um, it's to meet the cabinet guy. Some of our cabinet doors are have gotten a little warped, um, and it's all under warranty. And our builder is really great, so they're taking care of that. And then I also want to check on this little guy, Barkley, since he wasn't feeling good this morning. Um, what's up, buddy? Hi, sweet baby. What'd you think, huh? <laughs> um, he seems to be doing okay. Nothing we're going to take him to the vet for. Um, when they're 10, you kind of have to keep, you know, you kind of have to keep a watch on what's going on because something that's totally normal when you, when, it, when a dog is 2, when they're 10, could signify something's wrong. So, just going to keep an eye on him. He seems a little, um, like, tired today. Like, he doesn't have that crazy energy he normally has. So, we're going to watch him and see if we think we need to take him in at all, but... He's okay. He's okay for right now, aren't you, boo-boo? It just worries me so much with two dogs that are 10. It worries me. But anyway, um, I'm glad that I work really close to where I live so that I can come home and check on him. And I wanted to make sure that he didn't potty in the house. Because nobody would like that. You'd be That would embarrass you, wouldn't it? It would. Okay, uh, yesterday... <clears throat> Uh, we went to Target and I got a few things so I'm going to flip the camera around and do like an impromptu little Target haul. So I got some random stuff that I thought I would just show you and add to this just in case when I go back and look at all the footage I don't have a lot. Um, I'll show you what I got at Target. Okay, um, the first thing is, well I did go ahead and pick up a Valentine card for my husband since they were out. And I went ahead and got this little planner. You guys, if you watched the first vlog, you saw I got a planner for myself. Um, but this one I like because it has the months that look like this. And I'm going to use this for keeping track of all my blog and YouTube stuff. Um, so I'll show like what I'm posting when. It has room to write down ideas, what I want to work on. Um, just little notes pertaining to blogging and YouTubing. Mindy and I used to do that and we'd stopped. And I really feel like it was important and I want to have that again. Um, and then of course, because you know... <laughs> You need new new ink pens. Um, these are some gel pens by Uniball. Uh, and they're hot pink, turquoise, green, and purple. So I just thought that'd be fun. And then look how cute these little bitty post-it notes are. I love them. And um, the way I keep things in the planner, I think I'm going to really 
really enjoy using these. So that was like the YouTube like blog like organization stuff. And then whew, I got the Dove um, Pure Care Dry Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. And I can't remember who I saw using this. It may have been Ingrid, Ingrid Nelson here, or Fleur. I cannot remember, to be honest with you. But one of them, I think, was using this, and I was like, huh, I'll try it. I like Dove products. Um, hopefully, it'll be as good as my Suave, but who knows. And then, don't make fun of me and don't laugh. <laughs> I got this Head & Shoulders 2-in-1 Dry Scalp Care. It's an almond, almond oil. Um, okay, why I got this is... Sometimes when the temperatures here go from one extreme to another really quickly, I'll get like a little bit of flakage and that I don't hate that. And it only lasts like like a day or so, but when we just had 70 degree temperatures and then all of a sudden this morning it was like 8, um I feel like it could be coming. So I wanted to have this on hand so that um if I notice it, I can get rid of it right away. And I think this stuff really works and it smelled really good. And then in here, ooh, okay. last night you saw the mug, hashtag mug life. Um, we only have two coffee mugs, and now that Wes is making coffee all the time because he got a Keurig for Christmas, um, we're running out, and we needed a few more, and I really like this one. We have a small Keurig, so this will fit perfectly, and I make my tea through the Keurig. Just run the hot water through. I still use tea bags because I make decaf tea. Um, so I thought that was really cute. Wes did not find one that he liked, though. Um, I picked up a new deodorant, and this is the Dove Dry Spray Nourish Beauty, I guess. It's new out, and okay, will that focus? No, basically, you spray it on your pits. I've never used this spray before, but Dove is my favorite, so I thought I would try it. Um, <clears throat> is that it? Oh, super fun, Sensodyne. Uh, extra fresh, complete protection. And this is, I think this was well, says new, but I haven't seen it before. Um, this is all I use because as I've gotten older, my teeth have gotten sensitive. And this might be really, really, really silly. And maybe it was made for teenagers, I'm not sure. But it was a little book that I've seen before Christmas. It's kind of thick. And it's 642 things to write about. And, um... I don't know. I'm an English major, which you wouldn't tell from probably my grammar, <laughs> my grammar skills. Um, but I used to write a lot. I used to just sit down and tinker and write poetry and write little stories and this and that. And I haven't done that in years. I can't even tell you the last time I've done that. And um, I don't know. I like this. It was like little things like, if you guys can read that. A woman, uh, a, woman. a woman is struggling to get a large package into the trunk of her car. It's not focusing, but her son doesn't get out of the car to help her write the scene. Just little exercises, um, little exercises like that to kind of get the creative juices flowing. Um, like write about a song. Two dollars isn't a lot of money unless dot 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 write about it. Um, the most troubling phone call you hope you never receive. I mean, that's a little heavy, but they're just little things to just be creative. Um, and that used to be me and I haven't been that way in a really long time as far as like sitting down with pen and paper, um, or even like writing stuff out, you know, blog posts here and there, but it's, it's different. Um, so this was actually sitting out right near the register and I was like, it's a sign. I need to have it. So, um, I picked it up. I think it'd be great for um, people any age, honestly. Uh, oh, yeah, like Time Magazine has just named you Person of the Year. Answer why. What? They'd never. But anyway, that's my little Target haul. I hope my little bud feels better. I just love him so much. I'm sorry, buddy. Came in a little hot on that one. Um, but I need to get myself together and head back to work. It's feeding time. <laughs> hey, Bubba. He eats slow because he's a good boy. And since he's older, well, he doesn't have many teeth actually just because he's an old man. We put a little water in his food to soften it. And this fatty, this fatty, she finishes her food super fast. Jade, you done? Look at that tail wagon. Look at that tail wagon. Look at that tail wagon. Hey, hey, fatness. 
She'll lick the bowl for a while. She'll wait till he's done and then she'll lick his bowl. If you're wondering, most of you with dogs probably know this, but um, we have the stands. Wes actually built this one a couple, few years ago, actually. Um, that when you have taller dogs, it just helps their neck and everything so they don't have to bend over and, and eat off the floor. It's just more comfortable and it's better for them, especially as they get older, huh, girl? Um, hers actually has the food. That's not wet. That's just some type of stain. I don't know. This was given to us, and I think we're going to paint it black this summer. But, um, gosh, these things are so handy. But um, we like the storage on this one. But uh, go ahead, Piglet. Her nickname from one of our friends um, is Piglet. He calls her Piggy Piglet. We call her J.D. Poo Poo. Isn't it funny, though, um, how when you have a dog, it goes from Jade to JD, JD, poo poo, poopinator, poop stick. Yeah, isn't that weird? And sparkles. Sorry, I have Christmas. Oh, I shouldn't show you all that, but Christmas stuff. I need to get the boxes to put it all away. Um, and Barkley, it went from Barkley to B Man to sparkles. <laughs> Cause you're sparkly, huh? I don't know, it fits his personality. By the way, I went on to say that, but happy Friday. It's Friday. What, what? So excited. It's been a long week. Oh my gosh, I was telling Mindy. Um, oh, she's been sick all week, but I've been telling her, oh my gosh, the first week back is the longest week ever. And Jade, Jade, you got it all, girl. You got it. She's going to town licking every last drop from her bowl. Anyway, um... It's been four days of Zara scarves, so this is my last Zara scarf. Um, I actually uh, got one of these for my friend Karen. Hi, Karen. And um, I saw her in her Instagram pictures, and it looked so cute. I kept, like, thinking about it, obsessing about it. So I ended up getting this, uh, is it the Black Friday sale? Yeah, Black Friday, and it was marked down a little bit. I think it was, like, $20, $22, something like that. So I got it. It's the one with the orange. And um, even though I'm home, I'm about to step out back with them and take them potty. So I haven't taken off my giant coat. And uh, my hair is in a ponytail because she needs to be washed. And usually when you see it in a ponytail, it's either the weekend or it means it's hair wash at night. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know what we're going to do tonight. Wes is having a drink right now with a couple of his buddies and should be home in about 30 minutes or so. I don't know. I think we're going to go out grab some food somewhere but i need to do some laundry big time friday night plans um i need to do laundry so um we shall see so just a little update on my boy uh the other day i think it was wednesday he wasn't feeling good um he really had a bad stomach and um by wednesday night though when i got home from work he seemed to be doing a little bit better and now you don't even know that he had an off day but it's just funny that sometimes um dogs can wake up and not feel good too and the funniest part is is that he gets the same things every day we don't mix up treats he gets one brand of treats which is the same brand of his food he gets some peanut butter with his pills that he takes I know you know what that is um but he doesn't eat anything else we don't give him human food that's not good for these little man little babies uh but he's feeling better so I just wanted to kind of um update you on that just in case you're wondering hey guys happy Saturday um, it's sunny out and it's beautiful and I'm in Wes's truck. He's, he's driving. Hey Wes. Hey. <laughs> he says hey. Um, yeah, if you notice, I'm going to say it. If you notice, he has a giant, giant beard. Um, he's going to trim it tonight or tomorrow, right? Yes, he's going to trim it this weekend. Um. He usually every year grows a beard in November, but this year he grew it in October and he's kept it so long. Are we ever going to see your face again? One day. One day he'll show us his cute little face. Um, no, I don't mind his beard. I like his beard except for when it gets really, really big. <laughs> She's large and in charge right now. Okay, so we're in his truck and... Um, bouncing around a lot so I feel like 
the camera is shaking so I apologize but anyway we're going down to my parents house I live about an hour away and then we're getting them and then we're going about 40 minutes away to go look at go look at mattresses they get their Swedish foam mattresses from this one place in Blackstone Virginia if you guys are familiar with that so we're headed there now we're tank say hi this is my mom's bulldog Named Tank. You're a little beast. You're a little beast. Are you a little beast? Any beautiful? Look at that face. That's a face only mom could love. Just kidding. Love you, Tankers. Crazy mutt. Is it comfortable? This is part of the farm. Yeah. Just mattress shopping. How's it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Scary face. Film it. Walking around the antique store. And look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. For the bubbly. Something doesn't go. <laughs> oh gosh. I love this kind of old glass. So cute. Hey guys, so we are done mattress shopping. We are pumping gas. Well, Wes is pumping gas right now. And I thought I would close out the, wow, my face is so white with the, the sun. <laughs> the sun is setting and it looks crazy. Anyway, um, we were successful. We got a mattress. Um, if you guys are local, we went to the Blackstone Emporium and there's a guy there named Frankie. He owns it and he's so nice and he's so good to you. Um, and I'm excited because our mattress is like nine years old, eight or nine years old, and it has like divots, you know what I mean? Anyway, so we're excited about that, and I even had time, which I'm hoping I got to put some footage in just a tiny bit. We also went into a little antique store and kind of walked around. It was really fun to spend the day with my parents. I spend the day with my mom a lot, but I don't always get the weekends with my dad, so I think that's, uh, we had a good time. Um, I even had time to organize her makeup just a tiny bit. She just got some Rubbermaid uh, three, three drawer stackers and sorry, somebody just pulled up with some loud music. Um, and I organized her makeup a little bit. I have some more to do, but um, I did walk away with a bare mineral shadow. She doesn't wear the loose shadows and this is in the shade Pebble. Looks like that. It's just a brown matte. I swatched it. It's like a mauve brown. You can't really see it that well. Is that better? Yeah, don't look at my hands because I've washed them so much today. They're so dry and I don't have hand cream and I forgot to get some for my mom and they look scaly. I could not remember if I ended the vlog yet or not. So, um, sorry, football's on. It's Baltimore in New England and we're not fans of either, but it's a really good game. Anyway, we got back a little bit ago and um, had a great day today. And I probably mentioned that before, but, and I, oh, I also changed, I put my hair up. I'm in my cozy Boston sweatshirt. Um, but we had such a great day today. Uh, like I said, I don't get many Saturdays with my dad. Um, Saturday nights maybe, but not during the day. He's always busy and um, we live an hour away from each other. So it was so much fun to hang out. And uh, we cannot wait to get our new mattress, oh my goodness. But we're home, Jade. Are you happy we're home? I think she's thrilled. Um, but real quick, I wanted to show you one little thing we did buy at that furniture store, and then I'll end everything. Okay, so we have this chair, which we love. We got it from Ikea. We also got the furry thing from Ikea. Um, pillows from Target, but we needed a little side table. Um, and we got this thing. It's like old looking reclaimed wood. Um, and it's actually a stool that, Jade, you happy? You like it? Um, it's actually a stool, but we're going to use it as a little side table. And I think it's adorable. We need to get some coasters. Um, I totally need a coaster for that. But we just needed something really tiny and about that height to put a drink on um, or to rest something on a remote, whatever. But um, we're really excited to have that. Um, so anyway, just wanted to show that to you. I also really quickly wanted to mention that Tonight, um, Wes and I and my parents and my brother, his wife, nephew, um, 
cousins, two of my cousins that are more like aunts and uncles because of our age difference. Um, their daughter, her husband, and then they had a baby. Uh, Riley, who is, oh gosh, almost two months old. We all got to meet for dinner tonight. And it was, well, my parents, we were all going, we were going out to dinner with my parents, but it was kind of spur of the moment that everybody else decided to join. And I just wanted to let you know that because it was like a Christmas do-over because I missed Christmas because I was sick. So all of the same people, well, a few family members were missing tonight, but um, the main group, were, we were all together. We were all there. So I told my mom, it was like a Christmas do-over. And it just made me really, really happy. Um, we do have some health stuff going on in our family right now, not with my parents and not with Wes and I. Um, but it uh, makes me feel good to be able to see everybody and just check in on everybody. Um, and I'm so thankful that we got to have dinner tonight as a family. It was really, really nice, and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to end things here. Barkley, say goodnight. Uh, Barkley says goodnight. Well, it's nighttime now, but... <laughs> I love you, girl. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. Um, oh, one more thing. I totally keep forgetting this. But uh, for those of you that we're playing, that Mindy and I are playing Trivia Crack with, thank you so much. It's so much fun. Uh, Mindy posted an Instagram about Trivia Crack. Trivia. <laughs> anyway, Trivia Crack, the app on our phones. And um, we've been addicted, and it's been really fun to play against some other people on Instagram and fellow YouTubers that we know. Um, so you can check out her Instagram if you want to try to play us. It has both of our little names. Well, Jade is amped up. She lives for a tennis ball. Um, yeah, so that's been really fun, and if you guys want to play with us, you totally can. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.